That's right. And, and as, as we've continued to talk about, the key issues to balancing our budget have to be paying for any increase in expenditures or decrease in revenue. And the gentleman talks about his surprise to hear that people would oppose taking a look at the way Wall Street firms do business and taking a look at the way things have been run over the last several years and what that led to a year and a half ago. I was just as surprised as a gentleman to learn that there was opposition to the concept that we should have to pay for things that we pass in this House. Because I mentioned the four straight budget surpluses that President Clinton had in the last four years of his administration. That was due largely to pay-as-you-go budget scoring, which, to give credit where credit is due, was instituted by President Bush's father in 1990. It was in effect throughout the 1990s, wildly successful time in our economy, and as I said, four straight budget surpluses. So this Congress, before myself and Mr. Ryan became uh, members, allowed it to expire allowed pay-as-you-go budget scoring to expire. And now what have we had? Instead of having four straight budget surpluses, we're approaching 10 straight budget deficits, as deficits extended as far as the eye can see. So in this House, we had a debate on whether or not to require any piece of legislation that comes through this House that raises revenue or that raises expenditures or decreases revenue very simple concept. You would have to have an offset for that. Find somewhere else in a budget to make a cut. Find somewhere else in a budget to come up with the money to pay for whatever the policy idea is that you're putting forward. It's what every family and every business has to do every day in this country. If you want to spend more money on one side of the ledger, you have to find it on the other side of the ledger. Well, this Congress over the past 10 years has not operated under that common sense accounting rule, and it's led to these enormous deficits and, in the long term, the incredible astronomical debt facing this country. So I was surprised to hear some of my colleagues on the other side oppose the concept. Pretty simple. Pay for what you want to spend. Pay for revenue decreases. We don't even find agreement on that in this Congress. It doesn't bode well for having a debate, an informed debate, on how to solve these key problems of our economy at this important time. When you're, when we got to make the investments that, that we have to make as a country. Our infrastructure around the country needs a huge shot in the arm. Trillions of dollars need to be invested into roads and bridges, high-speed rail, all across uh, the United States, airports. Um, this all needs to be done. Um, our ports, waterways, those kinds of investments have been neglected for years and years and years, and we need to continue to make those investments.